Hi, my name is Annika and I'm a PhD student at the University of Virginia. To assess the extent of sensory impairments, clinicians commonly examine regions of a patient's skin by touch using thin monofilaments. One's ability to perceive low force monofilaments indicates absolute threshold and thereby the extent of impairment. However, while monofilaments are prescribed to bend at defined forces, there are no empirical measurements of the skin surface's response. The skin surface is the point of origin for encoding touch information. Our perceptions of tactile acuity are shaped by some combination of factors involving the skin, afferents, and various elements of the central nervous system. In an effort to better understand how our sense of touch is encoded, we might first ask, how does the skin move? In this work, we aim to measure the skin states associated with low force bond pry monofilaments in hopes of aiding clinicians in better understanding the neurological origins of particular sensory impairments. Using a non-contact optical tracking method called digital image correlation, we quantify the differences in skin deformation at perceptual thresholds. Using stereo camera calibration and unique patterns applied to the skin, we can obtain specific 3D displacement from 2D images. In this video, you can see slight movement of the skin during indentation and the associated strain and displacement fields that are measured. In this work, we generate four biomechanical metrics of deformation to quantify the skin states from bond prime monofilaments, two of which I will describe in further detail. From the applied speckle pattern, we obtain a 3D point cloud of displacement. From the point-specific displacements, we define strain as the change in first principle Lagrangian strain from the undeformed state. From the 3D point cloud, the field of points displacing more than 10 microns were fitted with a 2D ellipse. Radial deformation is the area of this ellipse. We measured clear separation across all four of skin deformation metrics and between all six monofilaments, even amidst variance between individuals and trials. The 3D DIC method used here produces range and resolution such that we can record penetration depth as low as 6.1 microns and strain values of 0.34%. In psychophysical trials measuring absolute detection, we found that the force threshold was encountered at 0.4 grams in agreement with prior studies. While we measured no systematic impact of paint on perceptual response, we would like to note that these findings are restricted to the range of monofilaments used in this study and a relatively modest cohort of participants. We also evaluated psychophysical discrimination thresholds with three monofilament pairs. Our results show that participants could discriminate only the smallest pair at levels of 75% correct. A decline in discriminability was observed with higher monofilament force. In this work, we evaluated mechanical states of skin deformation by low force monofilaments using 3D digital image correlation. The results indicate that the 3D DIC approach achieves sufficient resolution and range to capture distinct states of skin deformation at just noticeable thresholds of absolute detection and discrimination. Thank you.